Hey guys, Medieval Fan Mode for Seven here, and today I'm starting a new PS4 walkthrough. And today we're starting until dawn. Uh, this is a game that a few of my uh, viewers have actually recommended to me now, uh, quite a few times on Let's Plays of other choice-based games I've played, like uh, The Walking Dead and on Heavy Rain. Uh, I think. Agent Pancakes, if you're watching right now, hello. I, th I think you were one of the people who recommended this game to me. I think you recommended this and Life is Strange, but I've still not played this yet. Um, I love Life is Strange, so by the way, as you can point out by my background. But yeah, I was just thinking, I have considered getting this game for quite a while now, but I just keep forgetting because there's loads of other games I've been wanting to play too. I uh, played Heavy Rain a while back, which was recommended to me, which is also a very good game, by the way. But um, people were just telling me, like, I think it was one person in particular who said, uh, I like Heavy Rain, I would definitely like. A game like Until Dawn because they're very similar sort of style um, in terms of like choices in that but I don't know an awful lot about Until Dawn I know briefly what's about I know it's about survival and that yet yeah, still installing stuff I didn't actually start no yes yeah, it's a start application without updating but I just got this today when I was in Wick I went through with uh, my mum my stepdad and my sister and uh, we had lunch in Tesco's and then my sister asked me if I want to go and uh, check the games aisle because um, in the Tesco's up here it's just a very small games aisle only sells like a few games but I just checked on the off chance that they probably sold until dawn there and I actually looked for ages and ages and I'm not the best at noticing, th noticing things straight away and I just thought I can't see until dawn and then um, my sister was like okay let's just leave and then I thought okay and literally just as we were leaving I just uh, saw until dawn at the corner of my eye, I thought, yes there is because I was just wanting to grab that just in case it was there because I thought I might as well just get it while I'm there it was 40 pound though it was pretty dear but a lot of games are dear these days but um yeah stop dating sorry I'll probably cut out this what's uh uh I'm done talking the intro and we'll just get into it but yeah I was glad to have finally gotten to say it's another PS4 game I've got it's just I'm I'm going to need to actually get a new memory drive actually because my my current one's already almost full. I didn't realise I had a 500 gigabyte one. I could have done with like a 1 terabyte because it's just not enough memory for enough games but oh, I don't know but Heavy Rain was also a very good game and I heard it get told on is a game that also uses the butterfly effect. So that's I don't really know what that's all about but apparently it's just some sort of method they used for a choice based gameplay. Apparently it's to do with like going back and making different choices i'm not actually sure but i don't know if heavy rain made that as well made that approach i'm not actually sure what the butterfly effect is really i've just heard it mentioned in some games apparently life is strange used that as well but i don't really i just don't know what it means but yeah i've seen my friend jack uh done a couple of let's plays this but i've only watched them briefly so technically it's let's plays blind and uh i've also uh, my friend mr joseph's told me uh briefly about it saying it's a bit a bunch of horny teenagers just staying in this uh lodge that's clearly haunted but they're just staying there anyway and pretty much you just have to keep your you keep your group surviving until dawn and i don't really know i think that's probably just the basic story i don't know if there's more to it really um a bit creeped out to play it um because uh, it seems uh, like it might be scary but i don't know i'm 19 i'm grown up i could play shit i guess so <laughs> I don't know, but I, I kind of like getting scared with games, and even though I do get like shit scared. I mean, I was scared of Heavy Rain at one scene, but apart from that, it wasn't really that scary a game. But I was actually going to play this at night time, like, the same day I got it, but I sort of fell asleep a bit longer than, than I intended. I was going to go for like an hour long nap, and I ended up sleeping for about five to six hours, and I actually woke up at dawn to play it. So that's how you survive until dawn, just go for a very long nap, you'll get through it fast enough. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm just playing this night at five in the morning, and hopefully I'll just go back to get some more sleep after I've played it but yeah I'll just see you guys when I'm actually on the video I'll just wait till this update's finished <laughs> right I'm just hoping that the features that we're installing won't be that relevant because I was just getting too impatient waiting for them to install because they were taking so long said it had like another 45 minutes left to go and it was just taking forever so I just thought I'll just get into it already so brightness adjustment adjust the slider until the logo's pretty visible ah meh there we go select your preferred control method motion controls are traditional controls was a different motion control. Oh no, definitely traditional controls. <laughs> Not used to the whole motion sensor side of things like how to do heavy rain. Sonic Computer Entertainment presents. I think the same method of um, gameplay picture. I can't make, I can't explain it very well. Character animations same in this as it is in Heavy Rain, where they do motion capture. Is that what it's called? Yeah, and from what I've seen, the characters must look really. 
like too realistic then it's just kind of creepy because I don't know I think I saw like a couple of scenes where I saw what characters look like and how their faces look and everything and I just oh god <laughs> he looks a bit creepy I don't know <laughs> it's just it's kind of like that okay new story spawn has gone in oh is that like DLC and all that is it or meet the cast okay well no we'll leave that for now new story <laughs> bit like a DVD menu the butterfly effect a tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. Okay, so the butterfly effect, like predicting the future, is that what it means? I actually thought this game was older than it actually is. I didn't realise it was just released last year. I thought it was released back in 2000, like 2010 or 11 or something like that. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds, apparently. Mm hmm. I don't know, maybe this might actually be non-linear, <laughs> unlike uh, some of Telltale's games. I don't know, Heavy Rain wasn't very linear. Like, towards the end it was very non-linear, but throughout the game it was mostly just the same. <laughs> it's one of many possibilities. Yeah, it says your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully, choose wisely. Got so much drama right now. Let's just get into it, babe. I love the snow, but I'm guessing this game's not just about snow and having fun throwing snowballs and shit. So is this 30 FPS or 60 FPS? I'm not sure. Yeah, so the only gameplay I've seen of this is just uh, Jakuists and also a YTP he did of it as well, <laughs> which didn't show much spoilers at all, so it's okay. Oh yeah, I did see something better, like we'd be shall we with a colour or something. <laughs> did what? Don't you guys think this is a little bit oh, come on. She deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on Hannah. I'm not even making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl and Oh god. Oh my god, she's making moves. Oh my god, he has a little crush on me. Where is it? Oh, so uh, can you not actually put on subtitles? Uh status and collectibles. Um Oh okay. Alright, oh, so you have a status of are these like character stats, is it? Honest, charitable, funny, brave, romantic, curious. Um, I'm guessing we can. Okay, we'll just resume. I can't seem to put on subtitles. It's because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. I am I'm not Every man belongs to me because I'm a whore. Darling. Hey, babes. Got a lovely shirt. Straight into yeah. the deep end here. Are we sort of at an ahead point here? Is this the very start of the game? I don't know, it just feels like we've just sort of jumped in ahead of ourselves here. <laughs> Hannah! Hey, <laughs> Hannah! Mike. Oh my god, what a nerd. She's a geek. Let's bully her. She wears glasses. Four eyes. <laughs> Jokes, by the way. Hannah. Hey Hannah! Hey Hannah, let's get fucking eh? Is one of us the colour? I don't know, I don't even know if this is actually a murder mystery, so I don't know why I said it's one of us the colour, is that? It's not like I've just made up my mind already. <laughs> oh, oh right, cool, we're controlling this, so you can just automatically control it, you don't have to hold down R2 like in every ring. Okay, so I was actually looking up the trophies in this. I can't remember what you, they were for. I know that they're all hidden trophies because they're all story related. But for once, a game that's actually generous with gold trophies. This game is actually like got nine gold trophies in it. And there's like five silver and four gold, uh, four bronze or something like that. So press R two to hold and pick up the bottle. Popping bottles in the club. Oh, hold R two and use the right stick to inspect objects. Okay. Jeremiah's Grag Stag Slag. Since 1784. Wow, it's quite a while back. Jeez, Josh. Yeah, Josh, let me touch you. <laughs> again, brother, you've outdone us all. Oh, right, okay, brother. Oh, shit, sorry. Or maybe she means brother as in you're my brother. Or is he actually a brother? I don't know. The game's just started. How am I meeting all these people? You guys mean nothing to me. <laughs> oh, did I just change camera angle there? I don't know. Once again, you've outdrank us all. Pressing, 
how did he get an authorised to go to this place? Is this an actual person's house, or is it just a random mansion that they decided to stay at for the lols? I'm inspecting. Okay, there. You look so damn hot in that shirt, Hannah, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Oh, wow, my God, so romantic. Oh my Take God. your top off, bitch. What did our naive sister get herself into now? She got herself into porn. Because... I got your note. Time to be a slut. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes. Oh my god. Cringy. Oh, uh, maybe we should make out, you know. Because I'm a man and I need to be manly and ask a girl to take off her She's top and show me her tits. Sure. What? Oh. <laughs> Matt? What are you doing? Oh my god, he was coming at Lost. Just taking her shirt. Just a stupid prank. Uh, Poop it's drank. You guys are jerks. You know that? Heh. <laughs> you guys are jerking off more like. What's Hannah all embarrassed about? Everyone sluts these days. She's not she's not she's not that different. Find other Oh! A, a choice, is it? Find others. Ah, okay, I'll say highlight your choice. Um, oh, okay. I, I, oh, wait, Josh. Okay, sorry. I didn't realize that's what we had to do. So you have to hold it in the position until the choice chooses. Okay. Oh, shit. Guys, there's oh, wait, so we're, we're forced to find others already. Okay. What the hell? Hannah! Hey, Hannah! Oh. Where's my sister going? Wow, I love her jacket. It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. It what was just a prank. Just messing around, Beth. It wasn't My god, serious. they look like they're you in their thirties. Are they really Hannah. only teens? Hannah. So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Mm, the girl in the red jumper. Oh, shit. She seems the most sensible. I don't know. <laughs> so far, she's like, you guys are jerks and everything. Safe, fast. Um, uh, safe, obviously. <laughs> I'm a pussy. I'm not gonna confront any danger. <laughs> Just take the fast route. Who cares if it's dangerous? <laughs> the graphics in this game actually are very good. The frame rate is clearly not 60 FPS, though. But I don't really care about the frame rate. But follow noise, follow footprints. Um, follow footprints. There we go, I don't know. Both seem a bit suspicious. Oh. Wait, footprints? Oh, so it turned out to be a deer. Oh my god, whoever you are, you're not very good at reading different types of feet. Not like me, I have a foot fetish. Darling. Oh, okay, Hannah, she was the nerdy one with the glasses that everyone should pick on because she has glasses. I mean, I mean, I totally don't wear glasses. I'm totally not wearing glasses right now. Uh, use the touchpad as I show all. Oh. Wait, what? The touchpad, you can. It's a touch screen as well. I didn't know that. This is the first game I've had to use that for. Hannah! I thought you just pressed that shit. I didn't realize it was an actual touchpad. You could direct the light beam using the right stick. Oh, okay. Well, at least that's some controls. I'm not seen before. The only one being the touchpad, that's it. <laughs> I've only ever touched, like, pressed the touchpad. I've not actually, you know, you know, touched the touchpad by the fence. Oh, you little skank. Or skag, technically. <laughs> slag. St no, not slag. <laughs> I actually said slag back accident there. I meant to say stag, so. Wait, did this... What button is it to move faster? Hello? R2 is it to move faster, is it? That's a bit like in Telltale games, then. I'm looking forward to some Telltale games coming this year. Walking Dead Season 3, Batman. There's a new episode of Minecraft Simulator coming out next week. But th this isn't those games, so we're not good. Oh, there's a... What was that? <laughs> it's like a tiki of some kind. Oh, shit. Death Totem. Right. What did the R1 mean? I just thought it said R1. Ah, okay. One out of six totems. You found... The Mountain by Beth. Okay. 
Oh, cool. Death, guidance, loss, danger, fortune. Hmm, okay. Wait. Did that say about death in the past? So are we in the past right now? I don't know. Gosh, I'm not even directing this uh, light beam. It just seems to have a mind of its own. Hannah! Hannah Montana! Hey, uh, Hannah! I can't stop saying that. Why do they keep yelling Hannah? This reminds me so much in Toy Story, and I didn't even jump their hat. The Game, you failed. With that jump scale. Oh, I see a figure in here. Hannah. Hannah, how could you be so stupid? Why would you run out the wilderness in a blizzard Hannah. in a oh forest that's completely dark at a time like this, full of I'm ravenous so animals? All probably wanting to shag you to death. Oh, someone's looking at us with red vision. They're probably frustrated and trying to kill us because they don't know how to look like to see like a normal person. Like, all I see is red! Yeah, technically. When they see all I see is red, it means I'm angry. Oh my god. Is that maybe a big problem, is it? I don't even have an iPhone. You guys are lucky. Oh my god, I lost my phone. Such a big thing for me to lose. No! Oh, sugar plum fairy. Oh god, I love her nails. Oh! Fudge! Fuck. <laughs> cool shot of a butter. <laughs> Who's that? Is that a monster or someone in a sit? Help. Drop Hannah. Uh. Drop Hannah. <laughs> it's all Hannah, but so it's either both of us die or just you, but. There you go. Oh, actually, no. Drop Hannah? What? What? Well, you end up falling anyway. What difference does that make then? Well, that's bollocks. Go on. All you did there was make me look like a jerk. Of course, I never do something like that in real life. Of course. It's just. Oh, yes. I've seen this guy before. I don't know what he's all about, though. few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want, oh, you, to the I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Yeah, I know this already. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I oh, I must look like a very posh detective for this to be a true crime drama. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying. But I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Yeah, just fall asleep for ages. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. All right. Let me do, just let me do it then. Hang on. How do I, oh, okay, never mind. R2. Oh, whoops. I see. I see a scarecrow with a hook. Is that right? And a barn. Is that right? So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember? Make me feel honor. Uh, feel uneasy. It makes me happy. Well, it doesn't particularly make me happy. So I just say it makes me feel a bit uneasy. Okay. So is he just telling a story or something, or 
Is he... I don't know. This seems a bit like the time's just sort of going over the place right now. It looks like this is going back to before this started now. Uh, uh, the Scarecrow, because the Scarecrow doesn't look like an actual Scarecrow. It looks like a demon of some kind. No, I don't even have any reason to stay there. I mean, am I even authorised to stay there? Uh, uh, oh yeah, sure, Webs. I'm a totes rebel. <laughs> huh. And um, what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? It's a cottage? I thought it was a shed. Uh, I'd be scared. <laughs> oh. All right, all uh, look, right. you told me to be honest, old man. I know what lies beyond two souls. By a fear more than the terror of uncertainty. Well, actually, that is a, that is a fear I have. Remember, this is only a game. Yeah, I know. This is kind of like breaking the fourth wall well, a little. We seem to be out of time for this session. But we'll talk again very soon. Okay. Okay, see you later. Wow, he's creepy. Did you just give me a kiss there? was like, mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I'm off to drink my cup too. I live in Victorian London. I'm very. I even know what I don't know. He's very American, but. He seems like a typical detective you get in these detective drama, old, you know, uh, whatever things. Sherlock, that's it. Sherlock Times. Oh, so community. So, uh, Sonic. Uh, Sonic Computer Entertainment again. Ooh, well, hey, 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 uh, music, super massive games. Oh yeah, this game's super massive, eh? What kind of game company name is that? Super massive games, super massive dick. Sorry, until dawn. Until dawn, TM. All of these cool-looking logos just look so silly with the TM beside it, indicating like this is a trademark. You're not allowed to write this or something like that. I don't know. I like the effect of the snow there. No, oh, I'm worried it's gonna be copyrighted. So thank you, it. Peter Stormare. God, just like an actual film in room. I think I might like this actually. If it's like a crime scene or something, like a crime program. <laughs> Find out who the murder is. Kind of seems like a horror slash thriller. I don't really know. Jordan Fisher, Nicole Blue. This music does sound pretty cool, actually. I quite like his music. <laughs> Megan Martin, Ella Litany. So, this is we play four boys and four girls. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Martin. This is an update on Hannah. Alright, so that doesn't have an impact on Sweden. Twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Also, oh, that did take place already. So that's not telling us what happens later on. We're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did Lucky bitch, the I do have such perfect skin. The girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Radio well, hello, the friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. Oh, that's kind of like me. I can right. never introduce myself right in videos. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's yeah, hello. Awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Wait, you were at it last so, time. I didn't uh, recognize let me you. Just let you know. Uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. <laughs> okay. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I I've know seen this character already. He looks an awful lot like the person who portrayed him. I just want you all to know, um, 
it means it means so much to me that we're doing this and uh yeah, I'm sure it does I know it would mean so I mean, much to Anna and Beth that we're we're all still here together and I'm thinking of them I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um just share some moments that we'll never forget for I don't know he doesn't seem trustworthy for the sake of my sisters and you know okay so let's party so like technically we're it's like fucking <laughs> porn stars okay make this one trip we will never forget all right he's acting like it's yes! like his destiny to get shit-faced and scared and killed I don't know he's like I owe it to my sister to put them in danger and feel scared. Also featuring Lara and Vagina. Larry Vagina. Oh, there's no score. Oh, that looks like the, the, the Beast's castle from Beauty Beast. It's Larry Finestin and I'm Fessenden and I'm fucking sorry. Oh, Jeff Grace, the Rocking Horse. Amy Van Dyke. <laughs> Chapel. Graphics in this game are good, but I, from, I have seen brief Let's Plays this game, but I'm not enough to actually know what it's about. I have seen that character already. I can't. I'm probably gonna take ages to remember their names. In the Blackwood Pines, in the Blackwood Pines. But I just remember seeing the animations look very creepy, and I remember he was one of the characters I thought looked a bit odd. I don't know. He does look a lot like the person who plays him. I'm not saying the person who plays him looks odd. Just I don't know. Whenever I see characters look too real in games, it just looks weird. I don't know why. Okay, so I'm guessing I can't control her right now. A lot of the game's just cutscenes, is it, right now? Until we can make your choice here and there. <gasps> what if she happened to turn around right now? You'd be screwed. I know you think you're standing in the shadows right now, but what if she happened to think, Oh my god, I wonder if there's anyone behind me I could talk to right now. And it turns out she sees the colour and is like, Oh my god, who are you? And then actually you've sussed it already. Uh, d diligent, Sam, Hannah's best friend, considerate, adventurous. Continue. Oh, good. I like how it shows us those captions and we can actually read it in our own time and then just use the continue once we've read Hello? it. Because I always overlook shit like that. Someone there? Oh, now he's hiding, okay. What if she happened to decide to look around while you were still in the open like that? Oh, I bet he's the colour actually. He's all like, I can't wait to see you all so I can slit all your throats. Okay, I, I love the sound of foot crunching under your feet. Did I say foot crunching under your feet? I'm gonna say snow crunching under your feet, sorry. But, I know, I miss getting lots of snow up here. We don't get lots of snow in winters nowadays. <laughs> the gates are bored. Can we not just yank it like hell? Because, you know, we're we're a very scrawny, unmuscly uh, girly girl, so we're totally gonna have the strength to open this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. In games like this, if we can't get through the gate, if it's locked or something like that, there's just always something nearby that we can use to get in. <laughs> so there's actually no point in having a gate. <laughs> Climb up. There we go. Why do people have bother having gates? Because people are always going to just find another way in. Safe. Yeah, safe again, because I'm a pussy. God, I love her scar. Oh! God, sorry. Square law. Oh, it's time for the QTEs. Uh, Climb. Darling. But even if you do choose your choice in time, you have to highlight it for ages. And I did press triangle there, you whore. I think, yeah, I pressed triangle and square. Is that probably why I fell? Because <laughs> I accidentally pressed square a little back then too, but I did press triangle. Okay. Climb. And then. Triangle! There we go. She's such a bimbo. She doesn't know how to uh, press a button, right? Even though it's me doing it, but it's her fault. so glamorous. I hope her clothes don't get ruined during any ruckuses she gets into during the time here. How is anyone else, how is anyone else gonna get in if she's only, like, if she's struggling to find a way in? Did everyone else just climb over the wall and find other ways in? Aww. So it's just like an abandoned mansion that no one stays in anymore. There's random people move a visit now. Huh? Don't move. I didn't move. Are you literally just meant to not move the slightest That's bit? It. Okay. Come on. Okay, I'm not moving, I'm not moving. I'm not moving, not moving at all. 
Hold the wireless controller as steady as you can. I'm not moving. And the slice. And my shoulders are getting sore. Okay, there we go. Because <laughs> I always have to move around because my shoulders get sore. If I sit too still, my shoulders got like stiff and all that. If you are unsure of what to do next, you could see your current objective by holding R1. Oh, that's cool. Current objective. Head to the cable star oh, starcation. This has kind of reminded me of an Outlast right now. I've not even played Outlast. Well, I've played like the first five minutes and then I got scared of any jump scares that were going to occur, so I just turned it off. <laughs> because, I'm mm, just. Yeah. <laughs> but it kind of seems like Outlast doesn't really got a particular story other than just to scare you. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tri tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible future futures. The colour of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Hmm, <laughs> kind of like the colour of the trophies. <laughs> Sorry, but death... Oh wait, that's one of the totems that we picked up earlier. Black butterflies prophesied the dreamer's death. Danger. Red butterflies, pardon me, warned of dangerous events. Loss. Brown butterflies foretold the tragedy of affecting friends. Oh, sorry, pardon me. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. Fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Oh, cool. Why are the chances of that being shown here? Oh, another totem. As you explore, you discover totem artifacts, picking up a totem. Okay. Oh, okay, so it's just take. Just thought it would take a long time to read it, okay. Well then, R2. He's the stick to explore an item more. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe if I turn it around a couple of times, I'll see more about it. Uh, okay, so. Okay, that's all I can do with it right now. So I press R2. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, 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 I get it. Okay, just put that shit back down. Or pick it back up. Do we need to do something with it? Ah! Stop it! <laughs> yeah, put it down. The game's not being very clear what I have to do. Oh, for fuck's sake. Put it down. You know, back. Ugh. I can't believe I am being so dumb right now that I can't even figure out what I'm going to do with this bloody thing. Um. Wait, that's a butterfly on that, isn't it? Yeah, I'm seeing it, but... What else do I have to do? Oh! Butterfly effects, okay, L1, right. Okay. L1. End of your business. Okay. Rats with boots. Oh, these scenes, are they? Different endings, I'm not sure. But. Okay. Stop! Oh, sorry. That's my fault. I keep doing that. Sorry. Okay, they're both the same thing. I'm pressing all buttons right now. I don't even know what to do. She's just sort of staring at that shit. Okay. I'll just get up, you stupid cunt. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm actually going to have to look up what I have to do because I'm just too dumb to actually know what I'm doing wrong here. Okay, hang on. So it just looks like my game has been glitchy, but it turns out when you turn this around, something is actually going to happen. You see the future of guidance of some kind, but it's just not doing it for me. Like, when you turn this around, you're meant to get a cutscene of this showing you, like... Because that, that, that's the butterfly, that's the yellow for guidance, but... Uh, I think I've got a glitch happening right now that it's just not... It's just not like doing what it's meant to do, so hang on, I'll try this again and see if it'll work this time. I got her back and I'm kinda glad I did actually restart again there because on the main menu I realised that we could actually uh change the settings to so put on subtitles. I put on global stats and sidebar subtitles, I'm not sure. But hopefully this will work this time because I don't know what happened. I picked it I picked it up, I turned it round. There we go, we get it this time. It was just a glitch last time. That was weird. So it's a guidance tome. Right, so... 
Oh god, so I was doing everything right, the game just screwed me over. Okay, the future is uncertain. Okay, never mind. Uh, press R1 at any time to review your total control. Yeah, it's just in. The future's uncertain. It's in your hands. It's your choice unfolds the story. Wow, this game's really on the thick. <laughs> I hope this game actually does, unlike uh, Telltale Games. Well, how do you think they got on here if we had to find another way in? Do you think they just climbed over the wall too? I mean, gosh, if people knew that kids all think this way, that they just go like, Oh well, the go the door's locked. I was gonna say the gate and doors, but the door is locked, so pff, I'm not gonna bother finding another way in. <laughs> What's the point of having locks so if people are just gonna be like, "What oh, fuck ah, ah, the door is locked." <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna find no other way in. <laughs> just press an X over and over. I'm guessing yeah, there's no other way. It's just so funny. I can keep holding X, and she just keeps going like, "Ooh, ooh, ooh." Maybe if I jiggle it hard enough, it'll get hard. And <laughs> yeah, I didn't even mean to get hard. I just take it hard to be rude, but um, oh. Someone is here. Bags here. What are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Oh, Sam is the killer. We have here. Wait, so Sam is some guy. Like she's not. She's not. She's not Sam, is she? <laughs> Snoop. <laughs> Snoop. Well, let's be a nosy wee gossip. A butterfly uh -huh. effect appears when your action has changed a narrative of the. Oh, cool. One new message. He knows it. Oh, hey babes. Has a crush on Ashley. Protective, humorous, methodical. <laughs> you scared me. I I'm sorry, are, are you my secretary? He looks a bit like Marcus Butler. <laughs> cool, well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. I was nosing, which is it. I was doing it for, uh, you know, research purposes. Oh, so found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Well, fuck you Come then. It's this way. Where? Right around here. I'm going to blow your mind. I'm going to blow your badge. Sorry. Yeah, better going to blow my mind. Take me, bitch. Take me, you fool. Oh, what's this? Clue found. Wanted oh, poster. Oh, God. This poster is very badly wanted by people. Yeah, awesome. Okay, Melgram Victor, sexy male. Ho ho. <laughs> Height six point two. Wow, it's tall. One point eight eight millimum. Last known address: Blackwood Pines. Last seen three sixteen ninety ninety eight. Wanted in condoms with a free arse offence, as well as his death for. Oh God. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal? Oh my god, no. Let's get the hell out of here, guys. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I'm a scary cat. I will go home. Bye. See you later. Die quietly. <laughs> Sorry. Oh gosh, you can actually see our footprints. That's probably all details. De detailed. Detailed. Yeah. Ta -da. Ta -da. I don't even think this is 30 FPS. I am, you bitch. Uh, is not the word that comes to mind. Why is oh, they're this gorgeous. Thing? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you I know, because Beauty Johnny is having a lovely yeah. face, like I do. He like Grizzly Adams or something. She sounds like Ellie from Last of Us. Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> Cable right. Castation. Here goes. Ellie, Ellie, Andrew. Oh, sorry. Oh, wait, wait, is this us? No, is it? Oh, we're playing as him now. Oh, cool. To shoot. I'm pressing R2. Okay, so I have to wait for the tutorial end, do we? I'm pressing R2. Oh, do I oh, okay, so we have to po point this one in particular first. Okay, then. Sorry, okay. Did it really matter what order we shot them in? The hell? What's that? Is that a but oh, it's a can, okay. What was she in here? Oh, another can that's just casually sitting on the snow. I thought we had to shoot a bunny. I'm like, that's just cruel. Awesome. We didn't hit the X. We feel like life. We should call ourselves because we can't shoot properly. No, it was shit shooting. Yeah, you're a badass Jacksepticeye wannabe with that green hair. Mm-mm. You need to work in that Irish accent, though. Jack Septic Butler. What's that? 
Oh no. Not the squirrel. No, that's Cruel. What if a vegetarian was playing this? Oh! Why did I even decide to do that? What are you doing? How did you do that? Chris, that is so effed up. What? That poor little cat was alive about ten seconds ago. Oh, yeah, I'm, 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 I like her. I like her. I like her there. I cannot believe you just did that. I like her having a go at me for something that I chose to do. But, um, oh my god, oh my god what is that? Get away! Oh my god, it's a birdie. Jesus, are, are you okay? What was your fault for standing there? It's your fault for living. It's your fault for being in his way. Hey, hey, look, our, our cable car. It's your fault for having a hat that looks like a bird's nest. We thought, wait a second, you're not my home. You must be scratched because of that. No, we're playing with him now. I love that sound of snow underfoot. There's treachery afoot. Oh my god, I'm cold. Someone's rubbed my arms together. Man, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Why are you even back here? After what happened last year? Two of your friends died and you got. You shot yourselves with fear. Shit a brick. Bet you come back here anyway because you think. It's been a year since then when we're grown up. He said that? What people? I don't know. Demons. Found people sleeping in the station one time. It's crazy. Yeah. Shagging all night, eh? Oh, can we get in? Oh, yeah, we're a man, so we can open this door much more forcefully. Patriarchy! Oh, real gentlemen. Yes, indeed. There should be more gentlemen in the world these days. Everyone's just all like, oh, show me your tits, eh? What's through here? I'm very curious. I'm very bi curious. <laughs> Blackwood what pines, crazy place whores, and sanitary no tiles. For healthy body and mind. Oh, it's, it's a spa! Well, not a hotel, but since it was advertising a spa. So you get like dots that hover things that are click click on things, but then when you go up to them, it tells you the button you're prepared to click on them. There's a security camera, there's someone watching us. Is it that creepy guy? I just wonder, is one of us the actual creepy guy that's walking around with that knife? He didn't actually kill Hannah and other girl, it was actually, we just felt her death, but he led us to fall in there, so. Yeah, shut up, you little bitch. Was that a better poem? Ah. Did we, what, did we call that lift? Are those things automatic, or did we trigger that? I'm not sure. Catch some Z's. How could you actually manage to sleep out in the middle of nowhere like this with a the potential of a totally not creepy mad murderer nearby? Well, uh, he may not be a murderer, he might just be someone who very much enjoys carrying a knife around covered in stuff that's red and is totally not blood. I thought we'd have to shoot that squirrel. I just shot the other thing if I didn't have to. Good, good. It's hard to oh, they're talking about that guy with the creepy mouth. Kind of worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? All in. Bro, good talk. <laughs> bro, 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 you know bro. Let's, <laughs> let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy bro, the bro, trip. Bro, 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 bro. <sighs> You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. We met in a gay bar and then we had sex. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front. Man, it, I, I found the girl that do girl stuff for. Okay, so. So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. Hmm. If it weren't for the fact like, me and Josh met, but we're just friends. We love girls. We love having sex with girls. Yeah, I love the girls' tits and us. But guys are always like feel like they protest a bit too much. I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone right now, or or talking to some other person. Hell no, I wouldn't. If there's no one else here, I'm going straight home. In my pajamas, it's cuddling into my teddies. I'd love to go skiing someday. I freaking love snow. I like how even in the summertime you can still get like snow up in the mountains. 
jest! Oh my god. Mike's new girlfriend with very weird teeth. She's like, he I'm confident and trusting and intervenant. Oh, irrelevant. Oh, what's it? Irreverent. What, what? I don't know. Well, if she's nice, then that's okay. She's trusting, but... Oh, I feel bad now. She just looks so funny the way she smiled there. She's like, hee <laughs> What's on half nine? Looks like it's midnight. Oh, we're playing this her now. Okay. Mick, Mick, Mad, Mad, I don't know. This seems like it would be such a cool game to play on Halloween. But I probably won't drag this uh, Let's Play out until Halloween, but oh my god. This would have been so cool to play on Halloween. Hell? Did Jess, I just walk right into that wall like a twat? Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? No. People with strokes should stay in the closet. Nah, that's the sick joke to make, I'm sorry. People who are gay should stay in the closet. Oh sorry. <laughs> Another ten minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, that's stupid. Look, I've got a lot of meat on my bones. I've only been here like an hour. You can't be that hungry yet. Yeah, right. Hey, what? Chris. Hey, I'm Chris. Just doing like Sam taught me. Chris Pratt. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Felicio. Um. And sis, get that back. I'm with Mike now. Uh. Let's be upfront about it. Say, like, yo, I fancy pants off this bitch. I ain't gonna Mike hide it. It's no secret. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. You're good to have it missing. Hee <laughs> hee, she's got a great crush. Alright, alright, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. Tired of all this small junk. You mean Mike? Oh, for fuck's sake, why do you, all the girls in this have such unrealistic I mean, you know, features? Whoever. Look at her butt. Sam? I'd, I'd kill to have a butt like that. <gasps> Did you see this view? <laughs> I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Wouldn't really call it, but I got. But it's just funny how to say I'd kill like in a game like this. It was not creepy. Emily Howard, and she's a lady. Um, Mike's ex. And tell, who, who was Mike again? Was Mike the person that was up there? <gasps> was Mike the person who was reading that thing? Mike. Intelligent. Resource. Mike. <laughs> Resourceful. Persuasive. Oh. I'll be sure to not be persuaded by her then. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Met Damon. Emily's new boyfriend. Motivated, ambitious, active. Ugh, that's always the thing with young people. They're always dumping, meeting new people, dumping, and meeting new people. It's never people who are truly in love with age. Well, there are some. But everyone's all like, oh my god, I love you. And then like a week later, like, oh, yeah, dump for some reason. Hey, bitch. Just because I'm a man don't mean I have to carry your shit and take all your... All your shit. Why don't you take some? Again. It's that woman's job. <laughs> you bitch. Jesus! <laughs> My god, another jump scare I never jumped at. Mike. Michael Rosen. Intelligent, driven, persuasive. A twat who is shit at jump scaring. And also get the girls to take their it. top off Michael. for some reason. One year later, and I don't want to give a shit. The someone who I tried to get with last year's dead. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence. Just a little harmless fun. Yeah, no need for violence. So, one way to avoid violence is come back to a place we were at a year ago, where two of our friends got killed. Spirit of things, seriously, what's wrong with you? Just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. Oh, threaten this bitch. I love the threaten options in games. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna tell you again. Wait, what? what? He had a thing for her? Oh, my God. Each other? He's a whore. Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. It buds, but... Yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. Piss off, Mike. Kind of Kinda hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Just because your name rhymes with 
dyke. What? <laughs> Sorry. Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? No, yeah. I've already carried them for 10 Hold seconds. Back. That's long enough. Why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. Also, so Sam is the girl. Okay. No, Sam's already up there, you stupid bitch. Matt, please. Matt. Uh, persist. I'm not leaving you alone. Then, yeah, I'm not leaving you alone. In other words, I'm just scared to be alone. Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out, and it's getting dark. Yeah. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you <laughs> kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just... Yeah, do like a little, yeah. Why do you have to question everything? You're a delicate little flower, and nothing bad come to you. just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then Sisters you can help do not do it for themselves. <laughs> as quickly as you can, okay? I am all drunk, by the way, guys. Uh, Girls are perfectly capable of holding their own. <laughs> okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. Oh, that so didn't matter. Okay, but it might change her perception of us because we're too overprotective. Status update. Oh, until dawn. Where's the? Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's that update finally done. Installing. Oh my God. He's spying us. <gasps> Ashley has a crush on. Oh my God. Everyone's just crushing on everyone. God, we're like a bunch of herbs that are just ready to go in a curry. Academic, inquisitive, forthright, and no so in other words, she's a nosy twat. An inquisitive vagina, <laughs> as my dad would say. So, I'll be sure to bully her. Ashley Tisdale. Ashley. Who knows any famous, a famous Ashleys? I know there's, I think... Oh, there's one Ashley that... To me. I think there's, I think there's someone called Ashley who plays Chloe Whoa, Price. I think I'm not sure though. Somebody's getting a little friendly. <gasps> not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration. He's getting friendly with her, but maybe she's yeah. not with him. I'm off to find that one. My God, if she does kiss him, that's very rude of her to actually insist on cheating on us. Like, saying, like you actually don't trust me to. How, how dare you not let me go off on my own to cheat on you? She's off to look for Sam, but in other words, I just want to go and get laid by someone else. With someone else. Oh! <laughs> Again, I never jumped! Hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare just you. Just Louise, well, Matt! I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you. Oh my you. gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, wow. Oh my Man, gosh. I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I know. What What's you going to do? Gossip about us jumping on her? Jumping on her? Uh, <laughs> let me check it out. <laughs> Encourage. Missy. It's busted. Take a look. <laughs> yes! Let's stir some shit up. Let's live up to our title. Um, uh, sure, uh, go butterfly ahead, effect. Oh, you were always too good for that skank. She was always getting everything to do. She was know. getting you to do all her shit. Carry all her cases. Say, let me go and cheat on you, please. Even though she was saying, let me go and find Sam. In other words, she was just like, let me go and fuck Mike Sully. Is his name Mike? Yeah. Mike the Spiky Prake. <laughs> spiky Dyke. Jessica Fletcher. Upper cable. Upper arse. Upper nose. So. Uh. Check phone. Because I'm a typical modern day teen who can like, go a second without checking my phone. Jesus, <laughs> ah! Or Jess, ah. That's what I said, Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. She's with Mike now. Oh, so Mike is a whore. Having sex with everyone. Oh, yeah. I'm going to cause lots of affairs in this if I can. <laughs> I'm going to stir so much shit. Oh, shut up with your shit jokes. Uh, run to bench. Uh, grab snowball. Oh, my God, yeah. Let's get in on this shit. We should just have picked a random snowball up. He didn't make one. It's like, oh, this random snowball catcher is in here. He is a bit of a whore. He didn't think anything of... What's his name? What's her name? What's her name? What is her name? Sorry. Hannah, that was it. Hey. Hannah! Hey, you know that? Let's go pay for that shit, eh? Where are you hiding, little kid? I'm hiding in the closet. I'm too scared to admit I'm gay. Oh! Oh! Hi. Hey. oh bollocks! Oh, snap! 
Oh, we're not playing cards, bitch. I kind of like snowfall, snowball fights, but I hate it in school when people were too rough and give you like face washes and that. And put like bits of ice in their snowballs, you know, when snow started to freeze over and that was horrible. Boom shakalaka laka, boom shakalaka laka, boom shakalaka. Smack that right in his cheating, horny, dick wet ass face. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. Really? Now nah, we have to do something. Wait, what? No, no! Oh, why the- oh. oh no! That's twice I've unintentionally harmed an animal in this game. What the fuck? Oh, is that what it meant? Doing the doing nothing is the right thing. Cause that was the only option I saw. Oh, why didn't I actually take the hint? Oh my god, Michael! Oh, can I undo that shit? I didn't want to hurt that poor animal. Wait, you're gonna shag us right here in the open in the snow where anyone could just come along and see us? My my. So are we calling it my favor then? You're worthy opponent, Miss Jessica, the snowball queen. Okay, that sounds vague. Are you just very? Are you just a very friendly gay man with the ladies, or? Oh yeah, let's start some shop. Kiss me, you fool. <laughs> Wait, he's only kissed us. We didn't go in. He went in. I wonder if he'd still try to kiss us anyway if we grabbed a snowball. Wow, save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. Oh. Triangle, triangle, I press triangle. What the hell? Oh, I press triangle. Oh my god! That was no, never died. Really awesome. close. Wow. Really close. Good to know I've got a hot pussy. VOD. I'll say. Hot board. On demand. Well, sexy and smart. Roll up your tongue and let's get back to the lodge, hot bod. Hello again. And how are we feeling? I mean, I can't stand guys like I'm honestly. Just say, I could just clip my fingers and any girl will come running to me, sir. Oh, him again. I actually don't time, if it's in a we're going to try TV to program. The root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Uh, young people. <laughs> uh, men were me, women were me. Uh. Oh god, both worry me. Depends on what they're like. I'll just say men worry me because patriarchy and my feminist. Hate men. <laughs> I hate men, I'm a feminist, no men worry me. Uh, planes. Oh, no. Oh, both? Both actually scare me. I've never been on a plane before, but I'm actually scared to fly one because I fear crashing and I also fear going on boats for them sinking. But also crowds scare me. Actually, I'll say planes scare me because it's only particularly youth crowds that scare me, so I'll say planes scare me. I fear drowning, I fear I fear both actually, but I think, I don't know actually, I think I probably fear heights more. I do really fear drowning, but uh, then again, if you did fall from heights, it'd be an instant death, whereas drowning would probably be quite a torture death, I don't know. It's a quite hard to distinguish really. Oh, snakes definitely. I'm not even remotely a bit scared of rats. Oh shit. Knives are scary guns are I think um I don't know what would be scary. Knives are pretty scary because they're sharp and anyone could just attack you from mind with them and people could be quite tactful and it'd be quite hard to But you have to get in close to the knife. It might be easier to dodge a gun. I think no. Knives are scary, I don't know. They just look scarier knives. 
And, oh god, it's quite a specific test they're giving me right now. Are they going to give me all this stuff in my stories so that'll scare me more, is that it? I fear cockroaches. Snakes? I don't know what's so scary about cockroaches. But from the, I'm just scared of any creepy ca crawly, really. I'm not so much scared of them, I just don't like having them around. They're just a mess. Okay, I'm not usually scared of clowns, but that kind of clown's scared the shit out of me, so I'm choosing that clown. I'm kind of hoping I choose the things that scare me the least, so that they'll show those ones in the story and other things. Gore disgusts me, crows are scary. Gore disgusts me, of course! No, actually, again. <laughs> You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. I'm not nervous. Mmm, box of tissues on your desk. What do you Try what do you get up to when I'm not around there? Speed up. The more you rely on your instinct, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay. No honest I am. I, don't, I actually am scared of spiders, but I still think I'm more scared of snakes because they can attack you. Oh, wait. I actually do have a major fear of needles, so I'll say I fear needles because it's with gore, it's just something you look at. Whereas the needles, it's something you have to actually feel like piercing through your skin. And it's just, oof. I fear zombies. Oh, no, I don't fear zombies. I freaking love zombie shows and that, so definitely clowns scare me more. I probably fear zombies in real life, but yeah, I love a lot of games with zombies in it and TV shows. I fear dogs. I I fear needles more. I've had a dog before. I probably fear wolves and vicious dogs, but I don't fear dogs in general. Um, storms? Um, I'd say that needles fear me more because I quite like thunderstorms. They're pretty cool. Maybe ferocious storms like that, but I've never really been in one. I've had thunder lightning though. Thank you for answering so no probs, babes. Snake, clown, and needle. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> Indeed. I knew it. They're gonna put all this stuff in my store. Oh, what the fuck? This game's evil. We'll talk again very soon. Oh well, we know. If you're thunderstorms, oh, so thunder. <laughs> There'll probably be no thunderstorm in my story then. <laughs> we'll talk again very soon. Previously on Until Dawn, what the hell? What is released episodically? I looked up on it. I didn't realize he released these released in episodes. Did you have to wait for these? Like month after month. I'm glad they're all out now, so I can just go on to the next one all of a sudden. Oh shit. Ooh. First off, I gotta <laughs> say, I am super excited to welcome all I, my I gotta say. annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every oh, one of you. Yeah, we'll have an old bum bum bum. some moments that we'll never forget. For, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. I need to go fuck Mike. Son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back. And next to Josh, that's how we met. Boom. But God, he fine. does look a lot like Marcus Butler, honestly. <laughs> Man, Episode like 2, Darkness, 9 hours until dawn. Oh, yeah? Just fall asleep way. until then. That's what I did earlier, just sleep until dawn. I mean, you've literally forget everything that's shitty when you're asleep. And, oh, there's the guy who started all this shit to begin with. Loving, thoughtful, completely oh, he's hardly loving. Like, let's all go and put ourselves in danger. Feels like it's shrinking. I and his face does look very familiar. Is he actually in a few films or something? He actually looks very familiar. You got a spare million lying around, I, I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, so he, funny he decided to show up now all of a sudden, too. Hey guys. Get up here, okay? Yeah. I kinda hope Mike dies soon. All of these alpha male wannabes always turn a chicken out at the last minute. Because they're not as manly as they make out they are. My God, he's very close. How can no one figure out there's someone there? 
<laughs> I'm worried. Oh no, uh, <laughs> gossip. <laughs> Matt and Emily are like total. Uh, Mike's already got his hands full, you know what I mean? Huh. Damn it! This freaking thing. This freaking thing, eh? What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in, they're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Yeah, well, there's no way in. I'm, I'm sure they didn't leave one way for us to get in. In case we couldn't get in where they stopped us getting in. Not if I don't report you. Um. Let's all sell tape ourselves together and just ram ourselves into the door. Now that they report you. How can the lights at your still work if it's an abandoned place? Hey Ash. Hi Chris. Ash Bash. Yo, see, I'm confident. I'm really glad to be back here. So, <laughs> on sale. Let's be a pussy. I agree. I'm scared. Right. Yeah. Aside from being kind of cold and vaguely creeped out by this place. <laughs> it's kind of weird being back up here, huh? Yeah. Status update. Uh, Lus. Um. Oh, okay, we're playing as him again now. Do we play as all the guys? Oh, okay, do we follow him? Okay, I'm assuming we do. So, this is all. Is this our best friend, is it? Oh, yes, yeah, it's the guy who told the story up earlier. He met him in a gay bar and had sex with him later on. She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that Parker right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely agree. <laughs> yeah, let's be t let's be a total sleaze ball. <laughs> yeah, I'm a man. Yeah, I love girls. Yeah, tits and shit. When are you gonna take her to the bone zone? Like that could ever happen. Come on, man. She practically spends her entire life with you as it is. <laughs> yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude. Look around. These guys are like so cringe. Beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario, just dripping with erotic possibilities? You. And as no parents. At last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now you come in for the kill. Uh. Oh, you're so right, babes. <laughs> Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I'm Conformity. Sure <laughs> I'm totally not just right, falling right, into peer pressure. Hey. Status update. Oh, what's the status update? Oh, is that like our object? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought we survived in this one particular building till dawn. Are we just surviving in the wilderness? And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh shoot! Nobody likes cool buns. It feels a bit awkward hearing a conversation about. Talking about erotic sexual fantasies with girls and that, I'm like, I don't really. <laughs> it doesn't do anything for me. I mean, any guy, straight guys who are playing probably will see the appeal in this, but with me, I'm just like, mm, I don't really see what you're getting at. <laughs> I'm finally, like, outside where I might actually use it. Can you cool it on the phone, Tom? Oh, an axe. Oh, sorry. Pretty much all you talk about. Well, you know, I mean, I could do all this stuff. And well, you got an app that can get us into the lodge? Nope. Got an app that can get you laid? The axe. Actually, oh, stop get, talking about getting yeah, laid. You don't. Oh, maybe if we thrust hard enough against the door, that'll open it. So yeah, let's get laid against the door. Or maybe if you're that horny, why don't you penetrate the door with your dick? Maybe that'll bust the you bust the lock with your dick if you're that horny. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, I didn't see this. A generator of some kind. Let's bust the shit. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. They said that he is uh, loving. He's not that loving. He's just sleazeball. All that. Yeah, yeah, tits and all that. I, don't know. <laughs> I just can't think of just like, oh, yeah, tits. The boobies. Boobanies. Breasts. Breasts. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, how could he even lift himself up, let alone do an actual okay. somersault through there? Should have paid more attention in climbing class. A front flip. You mean gym? I couldn't do front yeah, flips. How dare you be that fit? I mean fit in terms of exercise. Whoa. Did I do that? Did I do that? I don't think so. Here. 
Use this. Oh, <laughs> sometimes I'd use this, but for a second I thought I said arse up. Hey, arse up. You arse up everything. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? <gasps> I got an awesome idea. Let's get laid. What is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. To bust the lock and explode it. Flamethrower. Just like with ah. the blue army dudes. Yep. Ones wait, wait, wait. Just point the spray can in the lighter and push. Wait, wait. You've got a can of deodorant in there. Lock. Has it been there for a year or something? Or? All right, so you got this. I'm going to go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? <laughs> nope, I'll do it. What, so you're just gonna be all by yourself with a murderer lurking in the shadows? Yeah, that's that's totally logical. But then again, we're on our own inside a enclosed building with very little space to run to, so that's just as creepy. But I don't know, he said that, oh, that's another totem, but he said that, um, there's a kind of deodorant in here that you left. I'm like, how did you manage to leave it in here if everywhere's locked and you can't find a way in? How did you manage to get the deodorant in here? But, I don't know. Oh, see the future. Oh, was that death, that one. What color is that? I can't tell. Is that yellow? Oh, well, someone was getting burned there. <gasps> well, burned someone with the deodorant. So, surely it has to be another way then. Can we change? Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. I, I keep doing that by accident. So, it's do, 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 do. Right, so there's nothing in here. Okay. Oh, oh, there is. What's I have to do with anything? Uh, extra. No, no! I wasn't done. Oh, I didn't even get a chance to read that. Ex janitor conv convict so for arse. The Albert Square. The Royal Times. What button is it to move faster? Is it R2? Can we go in this room? Oh, we can. I thought that door was shut. I couldn't tell if it was an archway or a door. I can't even see. <laughs> can we go through there? Right, okay. The camera angle's not on it. I'm assuming it's not a possibility. Oh, okay, I thought that was a pathway. It's just a dip. That's just a dip as well. Is this the path the games want us to take? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Chris. What the hell was that? <laughs> Oscars are playing us. So, either the killer or... What's his name's fucking around? Who, who's the person who... Invited us all here. The loving one. See, just a jokester who's... Because everyone in this uh, group's all bad for jumping out of people and causing jump scares. Oh, what's this? It's a secret... Oh, it's a door. So... So we... Oh, okay. So we, our group's just outside, so... Hi, Chris. Very <laughs> funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? On it. Was he trying to say he was in danger or sound like a ghoul? If he was trying to sound like a, a ghost something, he did a very shit job. Yeah, yeah just, if we keep twisting it hard enough, hopefully it'll open. But... Oh, shit. Oh, the can of deodorant. We never got that yet. Where did you say it was? In the bathroom? Is there, what, there's a bathroom in this place? What the hell? Is this the kind of deodorant? What was that we just... What was that? I didn't see. What was that? Oh, I don't even know. Was that a radio? I'm not sure. For an abandoned place, this looks like it's... Been recently refurbished. Is it just a house that people just thought, you know, this place is haunted? Fuck this. I'm gonna leave as soon as I can without even moving out my shit. Because maybe the ghost has haunted my furniture. But. 
Is that fruit? No, it's plastic fruit. Okay. Just like to explore a bit. We're just in a full loop here. That, I kind of hope we are because it just means we're walking all the way back to the beginning to the bathroom if I take a wrong turning. Clue found. Prom night photo. No, I... Oh! Has that been sitting there for a whole year? And she's got a butterfly in her arm. Just happened to notice. Any other part of me clues? I keep burping, I'm sorry. Right, so can we, we not check down there then? So I'm just wondering, are there any more clues, I guess? Do 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 My god, this is a big house. I just need to find a bathroom. Go and get, like, take a quick bath and have a nice wipe and get all cleaned up. Yeah, yeah, these are, yeah. We're up in the mountains with no parents. In the middle of nowhere. So let's just forget about being a gentleman and let's just focus in. Let's think with our dick instead of think with our brains. Do, do, do. There's a lot of X prompts. I don't know, he's not very dressed up for winter clothing. He's only wearing a jacket, he's not got like gloves or anything. He's dressed for what would be the summer up in <laughs> Scotland. Right, so there isn't any good shit up here. What? Oh god, why is he walking slowly? Okay, never mind. I'm being very explorative. But I'm guessing there's nothing here. Oh, it's the bathroom upstairs. He said that there's a bathroom with deodorant in it. It just looks like a big house, so yeah, we'll find it eventually. I'm just gonna explore every room because I know there's clues there. And um, I'm not sure if there's like a trophy for finding all clues, so I'm just gonna look for good shit like that. But problem night for what's that? What's that even a clue for? Like, is there gonna be a callback to later on? Is someone gonna mention the problem night and they'll be like, "Yeah, I knew you had a problem night. I saw a photo of it." Oh, flapping windows and drafts. <gasps> Horror. Oh, is that the no? Another was oh, this the bathroom? Nope. My god, this house is so twisty turny. Oh Yay, here's the bathroom. Is this your is this the deodorant? Oh Yes, awesome. For men. Whoa, Jesus. Wait, that was a dog. I said I wasn't scared of dogs. That's the first time I actually jumped on the game. I was like, oh god. What the fuck is a dog doing there? It's just a small little wardrobe. I didn't even get in there in the first place. Did dogs don't know to shut cupboards. We're freezing our buns off out here. Our buns. Hot little hair buns. Hot buns. Is that my bust a lock or something? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm how convenient that there was a can of deodorant in there. I never done there. What was it? At least I never bit you. God, I'd be grateful. A bear or a tiger. Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. Oh, shut up. Stop acting all alpha male. Right there. Yeah, don't worry, buddy. I'm a man. I'm gonna sway and swag about. Slipping and sliding. Home sweet home. Home sweet shit home. Is. Not the word I Yay, I'm a high school jock wearing all my gym clothes. I'll get a fire to go. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? Not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. Huh, <laughs> shut up. What's up, party people? Oh, it's that dish, is it? 
Oh, we saw that. That's gonna affect your story. Make yourself at home, bro. We'll do. Yeah. Be shit at him. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. <laughs> Have whatever you want anyway. Right? Oh my God, this is actually uh, quite the impact. Watch. Challenge born. Stay from Emily. I saw you and Emily. Uh, okay, I stay from. No, I'm not gonna say stay away from Emily. God. You. S I saw you. <laughs> what the hell were you doing with him out on the trail? What? I saw you and Em. Threaten him, he'll probably try and hurt us Before, even though we're in the right. We just ran into each other. It's been a while, so we hugged and I said hello. We ran into each other so hard that our arms just sort of interlocked because of the force of which we were running into each other. And we slam, smack bang each other. Watch yourself, mate. Oh, I apologize. I trust your judgment, Bay. Right. You're not a cheating asshole. Yeah. Duh. Sorry, it's been kind of a long day. I overreacted. Nah, man. Don't worry about it. Be cool. Yeah, yeah, totally. Slut. I don't know. I actually don't. I do think he is a bit. You. Hey, babes. Yeah, we need to indicate that we're in love by draping oh our arms around each other. Oh my god, that is so gross. <laughs> that Are was you so gross. His face hole? Um. I mean, seriously, can she be any more <laughs> obvious? No I literally just said that. On your territory, honey. Excuse me. <laughs> I was like, we need to indicate we're in love by draping arms over each other. Not hear me with your sluttiness too loud. <laughs> Found someone's better. She didn't make. The oh time. god, I love this type of bitchiness. Big cattle call with that dream. Cat fight, cat fight, cat fight, cat fight. Keep calling this homecoming a cow. Well, cow. That's actually an American word. I thought it was only Brits that called each other cows. Provoke. That's uncovered. Yes. Oh, what? Well, why is there no option to cheer them on? Uh, defuse. Provoke. Um. Chill out, Emily. That's uncalled for, Jess. I don't know. That's uncalled for. Hey, you're making everyone uncomfortable, Jess. Go, cool. Emily. Jess, Emily. Emily, too frigid for you two. Hey, that's that's uncalled. Look, whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. Both of these think girls are a skank, so. Four point oh, bitch. On a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. Are you serious? <laughs> Do you think that's Who cool? needs grades when you... I don't know. Yeah, it's good to have grades, you lazy bitch. Diffuse. Stop, Emily. Shut your mouth, Jess. No, Emily, stop. No. Oh, stop being Emily, such a goody two-shoes and just let them fight. <laughs> this is out of hand. There's no reason to fight like this. Yeah, Em. Why are you picking fights over your ex-boyfriend, huh? Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. This I know. I thought we were all friends. We can't get along for ten minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, yeah, we need to break our arms off. Yeah, yeah, alright. Wanna go do that? Any place without that whore. <laughs> that whore. Right up the trail. Oh. I love that style of writing in terms of the like, bitch cat fights. Not. Well, that's over. It's going to be a what? A go fight? Oh. So, yeah. We got to throw them balls. Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Yeah. Matt, are you, are you I'm standing listening? right over here. Oh my god, don't you remember next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, like I'd remember that mediocre pathetic shit. <laughs> right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. I need my shoes. I need my designer shoes. I can't settle for these trainers. You must have left it down by the cable car station. Why are we even with this bitch? Come on, hon. We'll be back you are now. welcome to that skank of a... Then we can get warm. Skank of a skank of a... <laughs> Mike. Okay. Okay, let's go. I'm like, bitch, just because you're a girl, you think you owe me? You're like, I'm the sensitive one, so I need you to bend over okay. backwards and serve me in that. Bath. Take a bath? Does the plumbing here even work? <sighs> Can you actually have a bath here? I don't know. Sexiled. Sexiled. Burr. Burr. Burr humbug. This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. Go back teeth. 
if we ever make it. Romantic love to end. Yeah, death and gore and murder. So sexy. Gonna need these. Porn star? I paid for you. <laughs> you have fun with the peanut gallery. Oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. Oh, I don't know. She's a bit of a skank whore then if she's gonna fall for a guy, I guess. Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You wanna invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're playing as the whore now. Want to invite him up with us for a bit of a kink kink? Hoo -hoo. Bit of the bum bum? Hoo. My god, could you go down the stairs any slower? I always thump down the stairs when I run. I mean, time, life's too short to walk, run everywhere, get things done faster. Hey, hot lips. Photo booth? Hot lips? Have you seen the size of his mouth? Look at him, like, yeah, yeah, hot lip, there. <laughs> I wonder if he just held it like this for ages. Would it just awkwardly have these faces holding position for ages? I can never hold a face for a photo that long. Eee. Oh my god, his face looks really creepy right now. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, totally not creepy photo. So smexy. Smexy? I'm gonna say to say smexy. You should be model. Yeah, I should be a model, and you should be, uh, you should be in the circus, that's it. The man with the big teeth. I'm not joking, if you have big teeth, you don't, you don't belong in the circus, alright. Having big teeth is awesome. That's coming from someone who has very weird eyebrows. I have very weird eyebrows. I got a few things in mind. And has... One stretch mark. Who has one stretch mark? I mean, I know you get, like, some people who are fat get, like, lots of them, but my one looks so out of place. I have, like, one stretch mark, and that's it. Hello, bitch. Emily's as dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe <laughs> she's she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. I'm just as bad. Uh, ease up on Emily, okay. Emily was being a bitch, yeah. I think you bring out the worst in her. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> I'm actually acting the way I would totally not see in real life. That's, but I just love doing that in games like this. I love acting like I would never act in real life because I think bitch and people are just so immature. <laughs> in the matter of speaking, huh. if someone is being a bitch, that's an okay time to bitch about them. But didn't Josh say there was a generator? There was, I think. Did we not push it out of the way earlier? Oh, we're not going all the way back there, are we? Please tell me we're not. Okay. You know what, bitch? Why don't you do it? All you do is just uh, call girls, skanks, and cows and everything all day. Why don't you get your hands dirty? Man up, lady. Oh, I'm gonna run off all the right. I'm gonna pump up the generators before they run dry. Ours. Boom. Boom, baby. Nice one, Mikey. Her name's Mike. Oh, 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 Mikey. Okay, we're, sorry, we're Mikey. Sorry, Mike E. Mikey, Spikey, Dikey. Eh. Woo, you are a wizard. Oh. I'm wondering if the killer is actually one of us. Why is he just showing himself? It's just like, is he even a killer or is he just creepily spying on us? This is kind of reminding me of the story of curtains. Like, I don't know if any of you know Curtains, the thriller. Of everyone wanting to play this role of Audra in this play that's coming up, and this person uh, goes round in a hag mask, uh, killing all the girls auditioning so that she can have the role herself or something like that. But that was creepy, that future thing there. Does that de was that black for death? I'm pretty sure I saw a black butterfly in that one. There we go. And... I just realized there was, a, there was a clown mask on that one. Did they do that deliberately to me? Oh, up, because I was pressing down. Sam, the it is open. Out. Survive until dawn. Pretty good, right? No. Pretty bad, wrong. Yeah. Totally. No, it's awesome. Oh, yeah. 
Who are the four girls? I'm just trying to think. There's our. There's the other skank. There's the curious one. Oh yeah, and then there's uh, Sam. That's it. Who are all four of the boys? Oh, I'm super stoked. Totes. Oh, well, you just shop about sex. God, these teens that just have cum and jizz on the mind, eh? Ah, you go for Lona. I'm a pussy. I'm a pussy. I act all alpha male, but I'm scared. You do it all yourself. <laughs> she actually is just not. She's not coming back. She's just letting me walk off. Oh, okay, she has come back. She didn't even wonder where I was going. to say, like, you coward. You act all alpha male, but really you're just a little bitch. Wait. Oh, wait. What's that music trying to be playing? Well, they never close the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. <laughs> I'm getting really scared. <laughs> Respectful. I hope they're at peace. What do you mean? Um, how might I say hope they're at peace? They're both nice options anyway. Well, wherever they are, I'm sure they're happy. We're all thinking about them. No. Oh. That's a nice way of thinking about it. Oh yes, I'm going to play the romantic so that you shag me later on. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, we're walking up the mountain. Oh, that was a bit scary. I didn't jump there, but my heart actually raced fast when I heard that scream. But I didn't actually go, Ooh. Something. Well, that ran for a sexy FPS just there. I know, it's pr there's probably no danger going on. Just that creepy psycho nearby screaming just to scare us. Like, ah! I just randomly screamed. Like Mariah Carey singing. That's my sister's impression of Mariah Carey. Shit! Oh, well, that's your fault. You shouldn't have leaned on that. You should have known that it wasn't intact. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, quit your whining. You're fine, aren't you? All seven? Well, you have a dick? Oh, yeah, the torso, so. One, two, three, four. Uh, I'm trying to think what seven of your limbs are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, your feet. Do they count as a limb? Push the cart. Heroic. Uh, I'm not a hero. God's sake. Uh, seems a bit dangerous. I'm not coming down. Do it yourself, bitch. It's your fault for being a. Uh... No, I can't think of it. That uh, skank. Um, what's her name? Emily. She started that shit. So no, I'm going to be helpful. Uh, try get a squeeze through the gap. What, helpful. Yeah. Hey. Okay. So, babe. Babe. Uh, little gap down there. Between the cart and the wall. The Emily can go die. Yeah. Like they she's a bitch to her. Just, to her you know, bay. And to her, um, non bay. I appreciate your confidence in my physique, but I don't think the ladies are gonna fit. Oh, with the right. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. What, do you need to be fat or something okay. to push it? Huh? So, why don't you either toss that light down or, you know, be a hero and jump down here to assist me? Alright. After all this conversation, I've automatically become braver. So, yeah, I'm gonna be a hero now. Alright, don't move. I'm coming in. I'm coming in so hard. Beefcake, hunky hunky. Oh, oh. Hey, handsome. Wanna help me move this cart thing? God, stop laying it on thick. I know I'm gorgeous, alright? Oh, I was just wedging it. Why are we even trying to get this out? What is the relevance in it? Oh, okay, we have to. Okay, sorry. It's just gonna slide back down, isn't it? I imagine us grunting together. Not what I pictured. <laughs> her arm just went through his arm. Hand went through his arm, sorry. <gasps> I saw something there. Rusty car. Oh, we're not going for a cart ride, okay. We're just creepily looking through an enclosed cave. Yeah, totally not close to big. And it probably doesn't stink down here at all. 
Oh, someone started the car. Someone pushed it. Oh, phew. Oh, God, I actually pushed angle too. Someone pushed that. Definitely. No, I'm scared. Let's go back. Did I not just say I saw someone? Though? Maybe I didn't see someone, but that must have been pushed. Let's continue on. The wee Willy Wonka. This place is giving me the penis. Oh, for God's sake. Will you ever just shop at sex for one moment, you horny skank? Say, oh my gosh, I'm such a reward for you. I'm totally worth your penis. Oh. You alright? Yeah. Close one. I don't think this place is up to code. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time to go. I'm thinking it's time to get babes. Oh, oh, oh. Or is it time to go? Now let's carry on. This brave, this sucker. With rubble that just happened to conveniently fall as we're passing it. Oh yeah, shine that, shine that torchlight in her ass, yeah. Oh yeah, just looking at that for educational purposes, babes. Oh. Areas at risk, danger, 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 danger. Okay. A real fixer upper. <laughs> fixer contract. Cause this place is a bit of a fixer upper. That's a something thing. Oh, let's fix her up. When push comes to shove, we do stuff and shit. Because oh, it must be something to do with their tight jeans that give her such a perfect bum. Finally, a little ray of hope. She's sure it's a skinny my length though. Like you bitch. She probably eats everything under the sun. She's just like, oh, I've got, I've got a uh, fast metabolism, so I can eat all I want and I don't want any meat. I love her jacket. It's awesome. So blue and shiny. Cabin. Hmm. Every time I hear cabin, now I keep thinking of the Walking Dead season two. <laughs> the cabin crew. Oh yeah, we're just yeah we're just strutting away up this hill eh? Oh, for God's sake, why don't you just do it right here? Get at your assistance, you'll shove at it. Just do it in the snow. Your brain is just clouded with jizz right now. Why? Yeah, it's your other friends, dumbass. You had six other people at the cabin. Uh, I just saw six people at the cabin. Close by, okay. What's that? Uh, this oh, okay, so it's a legendary carnivore. This powerful predator is known to attack elk, uh, caribou, and any stricken animal that they come across. Or oh, is there any that hurt humans? Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please. Come on. Will you shop from a with Jess? I'm trying to read this. Not hug a bear. Oh, I'm not a bear. I'm a hunk. I'm a bear hunk. <laughs> bear hunk. That magnificent elk produces lovely milk. So, should we look to ourselves? No doubt we'll get jump scare. Okay. Let me see. What? Wait, what? what was that? I just heard a noise, but didn't see anything. <laughs> ah, so. Is this a ghost or something? I really don't know. I just wish this fucking a pussy would come out and just tell us what he is. So just hiding in the shadows trying to scare Mongrus. Oh. Open the gate already. After you, babes. Oh, just point that, point that at her ass again. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, shiny ass. 
Oh, shiny ass. Oh. Snow is fa- This feels very Christmassy for a horror game. It's just because all the snow is around it. It's like, snow is falling all around me. Children playing, having bum fun. God, I didn't jump. I, ju I didn't jump there. I just found that loud. I was just flirting. Rats with wings. Uh, I was just flirting, honey bun. Darling. Just answering his mating call. Wow, you're <laughs> easy. Yeah, got a lot of love to give. <laughs> My God, you're even in for bestiality as well. I'm so turned on by birds, and I literally mean real birds. I'm turned on by doves and 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 uh, shiny bum. Oh, bum 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 bum. <laughs> Shiny bum. Point the torch to the bum. Shiny bum. Shiny bum bum bum. Cabin? The cabin is this way. Pretty sure we didn't go through a Oh, did we? Yeah, we didn't. No, we didn't. You have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here. Really? What is path? Does Josh come up this way all the time? I wouldn't come up here on my own all the time. Just do my own thing. It's freaking scary up here. <laughs> hey Mike, you've got something on your face. Ah. Yeah, it's called skin, dumbass. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, that is your face. I thought she was gonna make a joke after saying. Oh, she's dead. Oh, here we are. I'm on it. Why socks balls? Oh, there's our Sammy B again. What, ha what happened to uh, well, what happened to the whore? I was just getting into the bath. Oh. I was just getting into the bath. Her oh, voice sounds very familiar. I don't think Ellie Elfman's voice, but she does sound familiar. Hardy R. Do you need any help with uh, being getting laid? I don't know. Being getting laid? What the hell? How can you even relax in a bath here? I mean, you d do you even have body wash? Warm water. Ah, oh. uh, here we go. Something bad's gonna happen to us now, isn't it? There's, there's nothing in the bathroom. Because surely she couldn't be that stupid to not find something in this very bathroom to heat up the water. Is the water not running hot right now? It was your stomach. I mean, look at that stomach. You need to eat something. Babe. You're becoming an uh, whatever it's called when you don't want to eat. You're becoming skinny. Is there a boiler room or something? I don't know. A boiler for eating up the war. That would make sense. <laughs> Oh, oh, what is this? Johan, uh, Johan, <laughs> I'm tired of this bullshit, Johan. Joe uh, D. Smith, tattoo artist, tattoo design. Oh, the butterfly again. Clue found, tattoo card. Oh, wait. Didn't Hannah have a tattoo? Oh, a butterfly in her arm. Maybe this killer is Hannah, risen from the dead. Wait, wait, wait. Is this actually an undead character we're being haunted by right now? Clue found. Postcard. <gasps> and we saw that already. What's this here? I thought I saw another X prompt. This looks like a very girly bedroom and nicely done for someone who doesn't stay here. Wait, I didn't I didn't read that. Oh, is it? Oh, it's a party invitation for Hannah. Hannah. Crush much? 
Oh god, that's what's his name? Mike, is it? Yeah, I remember that earlier. She was like, We could just start making it first, then you can take off your top. However. He said something like that. He's been a skank with Hannah before she died, and he's like, Oh well, whatever. She was just she was just a sex object. I'm just gonna get some other girl because I'm totally worth it. Mum and who? Mike Wadowski. Oh, nice lamp. Let's steal that shit. Oh, wait, wait. That was a. That looked like a boiler room, didn't it? Wait, no. Oh my god. Maybe the hot water will be inside this music box. Happy Christmas 2010, sis. Love, Josh. That looks really real, like that. Looks very glossy. But it looks like CFPS, I was meant to say. My Grammy's having a music box, and that's kind of reminding me of uh, Heavy Rain, because there was a music box in that too. Music boxes always seem to be a sign of danger in games. Wait, wait, was there another pathway here? No, there wasn't, okay. Can we look out to the window? Nope. Dun, 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 dun. Right, so there's nothing in here. Nothing I could see, anyway. Because I am blind as a bat. But at least we found some clues. That's good. It's always good to find shit like that. The psycho guy in the house with us. Oh, you can still hear Josh. Oh, I thought she was going to be creeped out because there was someone in the house and she didn't. There was no one else there, but... Yeah, totally. Let's Ashley... Let's go. Urch, is that her name? Ashley Urch. Who is it who plays Chloe from Life is Strange? Ashley Birch? I'm not sure. Where is the boiler room? Oh, okay, this is not a very good camera angle. Oh. Oh, what was this? Oh, God, we just want to have a bath right now, and I can't really... Oh, I can't wait to do Can we turn the light on? No, okay. It's just, it's just gonna steer it awkwardly, okay. Actually, what is the objective? I actually forgot. It's, I'll, I'll tell you right now, won't it? Current objective find Josh and ask about the hallway. Oh, okay, so Josh is downstairs. Where's the hot water, babes? I can't seem to find it in the taps. <laughs> Is the hot water located somewhere else? How do we get downstairs? Do we go this way? Oh, wait. Is it around here? The stairs. Oh, bollocks. Um, I think I was already going the right way, but I came back. We're gonna play this until dawn, motherfucker. They seem to do a lot in the space of nine hours. I barely get anything done in nine hours. I, I only ever get a chance to like work on three Let's Plays and boom, it's daylight. I'm like, wow, was that the time already? The connector... The connect... Oh, okay. Josh seems to be the only fearless one here. He's just like, yeah, I'm, I'm the ringleader of this party. Toast loving. We used to do it all the time, me and well, Josh, no Joshua. Kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, you just got to fire up the boiler in the basement. Right, Where did you come in and rub some lotion on my back, babes? Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Oh yeah. Um, you want to ravage okay. me? Oh, shut up. What's up with that tone? I wanted a bath. And I wanted you to rub me, silly. I want a bath. I'm a filthy whore. And I need to cleanse myself. I need to cleanse my soul. Because I have sinned. And I'm a sinner. And I'm very Christian. I want to be Christian. 
like a tartan trousers for someone who isn't tartan and Scottish, and he's got a tartan shirt for someone who isn't tartan and Scottish. Oh, could we now? Flat ring. Chris needs to go for it. They're sweet together. <laughs> they are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. Wait, who? I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over. You know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes them... Oh, wait, wait, wait. The nosy twat and... And the other guy. No, I think looks like Marcus Butler. Is that the person we're on about? People we're on about. I can't remember their names. I, m I remember some of their names. She's Sam. He's Josh. There's Nick. There's Emily. That's all I remember right now. What? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year, and you know that you came, Sam. It's weird to be back. We're here for you. Uh. We're here for you. I love you, Josh. Josh. <laughs> We're here for you. Really, whatever you need. Whenever. We're all gonna make it through this. Together. Um. I want us to have a good time, you know? Fawz, oh, the booze, y'all. Or in my case, just Coke. Uh, Coca Cola, sorry. Oh, yeah. Let's get hey, some crap. No, I'm a lady. You you have to uh, give me an elevator. I can't you I can't cope with the stairs. I'm a lady. Do 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 do. Sorry to drag you down into the bowels. Oh, just into the me some balls. Hot water and I'll be super fine. Oh, find I'm me some super hot water, darling. Oh yeah, stay bent over, babes. Definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. Uh huh 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 huh. Hot water. R two D two. Oh. Baseball bat. Baseball bat. A little 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 baseball bat. Uh, is this yours? Baseball in the snow. Oh wait wait, did we not see? No, that was an axe that we saw outside earlier. An axe holder. Serious. Uh, uh, humorous. Yeah. Actually, no, 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 no. We don't get humor. We're too classy for that. What's that doing here? Is that yours? You bet it's mine. I used to play ball with my dad all the time. Oh, I used to before play with your balls all the time, did you? Okay. Before he got too busy to hang out with me. Ah, we'll save it for the couch, right? Okay, let me see what I can Save what for the couch? What, you're, you're going to play baseball with a couch? I'm pretty sure that that couch would freaking snap that thing. Here, can you, can you hold this? Hold what, my darling? Hold what? Just shine it here so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, to hell with whatever is trying to scare us. Don't move, okay. Oh, okay, you have to hold it. So I didn't move, but I was I had it on an angle, so. so I can see, okay? All right, even though my headphones falling out. I already didn't use headphones that go right over my head instead of these ear pluggy ones. Okay, I'm not moving in the slightest. Oh. I'm not moving, honestly, guys. I did, uh, I did not move. It's, oh, God, you have to stay really still. It's annoying. Okay, I'm not moving, I'm not moving. Hey, in the lines, you twat. Okay, okay, I'm gonna set this. I need, I need light to do this. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna set this in the floor. Okay, I'm not. Okay, I'm, I'm not. It's not even in my hand right now. There we go. It's on a flat surface. I'm not touching it. There we go. I don't know why I never thought that before. <laughs> Just don't hold the controller. There we go. Nice one. God, I must have very shaky, okay, very shaky hands. We gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mm, sounds kind of complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. Very simple. Oh, 
Oh, it's a very specific problem. Okay. There we go. Does he own this place or something, or does he just come up here all the time by himself and say, like, oh, let's have to come up here and challenge it? He seems to know an awful lot about this place. He knows where the boiler is. He... I don't know. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of right now. Relax. It's not that hard. Just press the button when the light comes I on. I want my okay, steam and hot bath. Am I doing this wrong? What do I, what do I, ah, do you have to ignite it faster? Is that it? Oh, that is a load of bollocks. Okay, sorry. There we go. Oh, did I, did I fuck okay. that up? I'm just try again. Right, okay. Do it faster, babes. Oh, okay. Relax. It's not that hard. Just press the button when the light comes okay, on. Okay, okay, okay. I'll get it. Oh, time. right. Okay, 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 okay. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. When the light comes on. There we go. <laughs> That's more like it. All right. Five, girl. Oh god, there's actually a button prompt for just high-fiving. Yeah. I don't know. They seem more like... They've got like a sort of bro and sis relationship going on right now. I mean, like... She seems too butch for him. <gasps> that grunt sounded a lot like Ellie from Last of Us. I'm pretty sure it's the same actress. Josh and you. <laughs> oh, you were really freaked out. I wasn't scared. Something behind you. Oh god, well, can we actually scare him? <laughs> god, she's actually very convincing. Uh... No, I'm not because he got you. He's clearly not falling for it. Insist. No, seriously. Josh. Seriously. There's something back there. <laughs> <laughs> he still doesn't seem like he's falling for it, even though he looks. What? No. Where'd you get the first point? Does it start at 30? No, 15. <laughs> oh. Well, more of a ping pong now. <laughs> ah, I just have more points. I'm so awesome that I'm double. Josh. It's just the pipes warming up, innit? The rhythm is like weirdly regular. Not, not, nothing regular about it. Uh. <laughs> Heroic. I'll check it out. Cause I'm a badass bitch. Sisters are doing it for themselves. Check it out. What? Why? <laughs> Probably just like not anything. Um, why don't you hold down the floor while I make sure I think she's my favorite character actually. Just because she seems the most sensible, mature, and she's the least brash person at the moment. She's not all like Ah, <gasps> uh, okay, so there's the color, okay. I never jumped again. I'm so proud of myself. I think she always jump at this or shit. Oh, 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 oh. Is the color actually one of us? I'm really curious. To keep out strangers. Why do I keep saying color? I don't even know if he's a killer. Hey. What? Hey. What the hell? You just got mucked. Oh, okay, never mind then. What? <laughs> nice one. That was good. What but why would you You little turd burger? There's all this cool old movie crap down here. What was I was I not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you are you serious? <laughs> no, it was, it was lost. Were you in on this, putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. Oh, fuck's sake. You were scared too. To Don't act like a prick. <laughs> Joke master. Well, I, I said nothing about jokes. I said your prank, which was dumb. Holy crap, you were scared. Admit it. I was not. I actually wasn't scared. I didn't jump in the slightest. Okay, who's this is oh this is Ashley, okay. Are you wearing? Uh typical. Denim shorts. Mm -hmm. Typical you young girl clothes. Vow of silence. Vow of silence. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
All right, that's the okay. Chris, that's his name. God, he looks like a priest of some kind. Where is that? Looks like George Claude Frollo. Crystal ball. Got to wipe myself silly. Oh, here he is again. Wait a second. His room's not looking so very, very fancy now. His room's looking a little bit more sinister. Is it still just a game? <laughs> I would like to understand your feelings toward people who fear the supernatural, ghosts, spirits, and other intangible forces beyond the veil. Oh, stop leaning in like that, it's creepy. Uh, oh no, I'm a rebel. How do you feel about people who are afraid? I feel sympathy. I don't despise them, God's sake. How dare you be scared? How dare you have fears? Yes. I know. Feeling this is not like reflected in the way you are playing your game now, is it? Is this guy gonna have some relevance in the story? He just seems to pop up every now and then, saying, "This game is choice-based." toward other people in greater depth. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person? Loyalty or honesty? Honesty? No. I'd say loyalty because sometimes honesty is not always the best policy because you may well be protecting someone's feelings when you're being honest. But I think being loyal to a friend is more... Yeah, I see loyalty is more important. So you would tell a lie in order to be loyal to a friend, okay? And what about loyalty? Yes, I would actually. Charity. Um, loyal? No. Yeah, loyalty. <laughs> so you would sooner look after your friends before caring for those in great need. Yeah, well. Half the time when you donate to like charities and all that, and nothing does any difference. I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. I mean, I wish I could do charity, but I just feel like whenever I donate to these things, it never makes any difference. Previously on Until Dawn. Well, we're getting through this very fast, but what I think I might do is end this part here, because I think there's technically two episodes we've played. So. I'm actually enjoying this game so far. It is pretty scary, but Today I'm still enjoying it. It's not as bad as I thought it'd be, but... Yeah, it's just been previous previously for next part. But thank you very much for watching part one of Until Dawn. I hope to do part two soon, actually, because I'm getting quite into this. So, uh... I'll see you guys later. Take care.